In this video, I will install IntelliJ 13 and create a My First Selenium test project, showing how we can start working with Selenium WebDriver quickly and easily. Previously, I've shown how to do this with IntelliJ 12, and I've updated the video here to use IntelliJ 13. I still use IntelliJ 12, by the way. So first, the preconditions. We need to check that the JDK is installed, which we do by checking Java C, and we need to have Maven installed already. So Maven minus minus version. Those are the two dependencies I want to have before I start here. Now, I still prefer IntelliJ to Eclipse because it is still easier for beginners to get started with. So what we have to do is, if I do a search for IntelliJ, we'll discover that it's over on the JetBrains site. Now we can quite happily work with the community edition. So let's download that. Whatever platform you're on, there's an installer for it. I'm gonna download the community edition for Windows because that's what I'm working on here. If you're using a Mac, you could do the same thing. Okay, that's downloaded. So now in order to start the install, all I do is click on the downloaded file and start it running. I'm gonna use the defaults for everything, except for create a desktop shortcut. I want it on the desktop. And now that it's installed, let's run it. I'm, I'm running this on a clean install, so I don't need to import anything. There we go, that's IntelliJ installed. Now you can start coding. Just kidding, I'll show you what to do now. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a new project. I'm gonna create a new project from scratch. I'll unblock it by... So I want to, uh, let's create a new Maven project where the dependencies are managed by Maven. So the project SDK here is blank. We have installed the 1.7 JDK. So let's tell it where that is. Now that's just because we haven't uh, set up IntelliJ with a, a default JDK yet. And I can change where it's going to be. So I'm just going to leave it on the defaults just now. Well, let's change the untitled. I'm going to change that to my first Selenium test. And go. So that will all do fine. I'll create the defaults. I don't need to create it from an archetype. If you want to know more about archetypes, then go off to the Maven site and it will tell you all about those. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of tips. It's worth reading through those. And we want to enable auto import here on Maven. Okay, let's have a quick look at what we've got here. So we've got source, test, Java, that's good. We've got our POM file, that's where all our Maven information is going to be. So in order for us to write some Selenium tests, we need to bring in JUnit. So if I go off to JUnit, JUnit.org, it will show us how to do it. So I go into download and install guide, which will take us off to GitHub, which has the Maven information. So I need to copy this. Before I add that into my palm, I need to create a dependencies section. There we go. Copy that in. This is red because it's not downloaded it yet. You can see all the stuff flashing at the bottom. So now it's gone off and downloaded it. The next thing I need, because we're writing Selenium web driver tests, is to go off and get Selenium. So I'll find that in Selenium HQ. Off to download for Maven users. And this is what I need to add into Maven. Again, that will all go red because it's not found. Then you can see it's resolving the dependencies, which means it's going off and trying to download them. Now, if you have any issues doing this, make sure to check out my 
FAQs on the Selenium Simplified site on uh, seleniumsimplified.com slash maven. There's various maven FAQs and various posts about maven. There we go. That's black. So these have downloaded. I now have these dependencies in my project. So now it's time for me to write my first test. So I'm going to create a test class in this source test Java folder. Just going to do new Java class. I'm going to call it my first test. Now it's important that we have test in the class name if we want Maven to automatically pick it up and run it when we do Maven test from the command line. Now really this should be in a, a package. So let's move it into a package. Now let's see, I don't know how to do that. I'll enter move to package under the test folder. There we go. So now we've got source test Java, the package structure that we need and our test class. So now we're good to start writing some code. So I need to write a test. Need to get those keyboard bindings fixed. At test, public void, because we're writing a test. I'm just gonna say start web driver. So I need to create an instance of web driver. It doesn't know anything about these because they're not imported yet. So I'm going to hover over them and do Alt Enter to import class. Now it knows where to find all these things because we've added the dependencies in via Maven. If you're getting any red lines at all anywhere, chances are it means that your POM file has not worked. Chances are there's red in here. Chances are it hasn't been able to download it properly. If you get any red, you stop, you go back and fix the POM file. You do not keep going where you've got red marks coming on because you will not know where the root cause is. So now that we have a driver, we're going to do driver dot navigate to, and let's just use this Linium Simplified site to start with. So this says I've created a new Firefox driver. I'm going to navigate to seleniumsimplified.com and let's put an assertion in because it's a test. Assert that. Let's see, what does Selenium have as a title? And it has Selenium Simplified, so let's do that. Let's bring in the assert. Now I can never remember which one has been deprecated and which is not. So I'm going to assume that it's from this one. So assert title should start with Selenium Simplified. And then let's add that in as a condition. Driver.get title starts with Selenium simplified. I'm going to close the window, then quit the driver. Save all this. Now, in theory, that's my test that's running. Now I'm going to run this, 27. Okay, Firefox is up to date, it's a new version 27. I'm running the most up-to-date version of Selenium WebDriver. Let's see what happens. So I right click on the test name here, start, run, start WebDriver. Unblock everything as part of the Windows permissions. Firefox popped up, it's gone to the site, and the test has passed. So there you go, nice and easy. Our first test. So to recap what we did to get here, we made sure the Java JDK was installed first. We made sure Maven was installed. We downloaded and installed the community edition of IntelliJ. We started up IntelliJ and created a new project. In order to do that, we told it what JDK to use as part of the project creation. It created all the, the default parts we needed. 
we started amending the POM file. So first of all, I added JUnit into the dependencies section using the information on the JUnit site. I added the Selenium dependency using the information on the Selenium site. I created a new test and put it into a package. And then I started writing the test, making sure that if anything went red, I fixed it at the point of creation so that there were no issues carrying forward for us to debug at the end. And that's it.